Hello and welcome to English Help Desk. Today we are looking at idioms with hearts. This will be the first in a two-part series looking at idioms with hearts, with the second video coming very soon. So what are we going to do in this video? Basically, I am going to show you a number of idioms that all include the word heart in them somewhere. I will give you a quick definition of what the idioms mean and then I will give you two examples for each idiom showing how that idiom is used in a natural way. At the end of the video there will be a quick review where I'll show each idiom again and we'll see if you can remember what each idiom means. Basically, when it comes to idioms with hearts, they often show someone's ability to be nice, to care, uh, show feelings, or someone's closeness to another person. And the idioms that we will be looking at today are after one's own heart, at heart, break someone's heart, by heart, have a heart, have a heart of gold, have one's heart in the right place, have the heart to do something, and then finally a heart-to-heart -heart talk. So let's get into the video and let's have a look at our first idiom, which was after one's own heart. So after one's own heart has the meaning of sharing similar tastes values, interest, thinking, or ideas. Basically, if you like something and another person likes the same thing as you, then you can say that that person uh, is after your own heart. You can say, show how you're similar to each other by using the idiom after one's own heart. So let's have a look at an example. You like eating insects as well? <laughs> There's a man after my own heart. So, in this example, I like eating insects. I, I don't, I hate eating insects. But, for the sake of the example, I like eating insects. And I meet someone else and they say that they also like eating insects. So, to show that we have the same taste in food, yeah, I can say you are a man after my own heart. We have the same taste, at least when it comes to eating insects. All right, our second example is, when you said that you liked Charlie Chaplin, I knew that you were someone after my own heart. So again, in this example, the speaker likes the actor Charlie Chaplin, and again, they meet someone else who also likes Charlie Chaplin. So here, in this example, after my own heart shows that the person the speaker is talking to has the same interest, at least when it comes to Charlie Chaplin, as the speaker. All right, let's move on to our next example, which is at heart. At heart has the meaning of showing one's real nature, different to how they may normally appear. So basically someone might seem like uh, one type of person when they are around lots of other people, but when they go home, that person can be very different. And it's that more private person, that more real person, who the person is at heart. Heart. Let's have a look at an example. My cat Buster hisses at people a lot, but he is really a softy at heart. So here in this example, my cat Buster, who I think is a lovely, sweet cat, but whenever someone comes into our apartment, Buster doesn't like that person and so hisses. A lot at the new person. But I know that really Buster likes lots of cuddles and he very often lies down on his back with his paws in the air and we play together a lot because I know that he's really a very, very sweet cat. 
but to many other people, he seems like a monster. But I know that at heart, yeah, he's a lovely cat. I just wish that he would show that to other people. All right, our second example is Peter may do lots of things for charity, but he is actually very selfish at heart. So again here, Peter wants other people to see that he is a very kind and generous person. So he does things for charity, he might give money to charity, or he might help other people raise money for charity <clears throat> in various ways. But in truth, uh, Peter is not such a nice person. He's actually very selfish. At heart, he is very selfish, even though he shows or tries to show that he is kind to other people. So, at heart means kind of who you really are in spite of what other people might think of you. Okay, uh, break someone's heart is our next idiom. Break someone's heart. All right, so break someone's heart means to make someone very unhappy or sad. Now, usually when we use break someone's heart, it's in the context of a relationship, a boyfriend and a girlfriend. So if one person does something to hurt or make that other person really sad or unhappy, then yeah, the other person's heart is broken. But we don't always use it for relationships. We can use it for people that we care about. If someone that we care about really wants to do well in something, but they fail or they don't do as well as they wanted to, to show our unhappiness or sadness about the situation, we can use the phrase or idiom, break someone's heart in that situation as well. So let's have a look at some examples to make things a bit more clear. Fred broke Mary's heart when he left her for another woman. So in this situation, Fred and Mary are a couple, but Fred has started dating or seeing another person as well as Mary. And then when Mary finds out, of course, she's very sad that Fred is not being committed to Mary. So her heart is very sad. She is extremely unhappy. So we could say that Fred has broken Mary's heart. Fred, by doing bad things to Mary, has broken her heart. Another example. Simon studied so hard for his test so, it broke my heart when I learned he only got a C. So here, I am not dating Simon. Simon is just a friend of mine and I care for him. I want him to do well. I know that getting a good result in this test will mean a lot to Simon and I can see how much hard work he has done in getting ready for the test. I want him to do well as well, but when he only gets a C, of course Simon is disappointed, but I also feel sad for Simon as well. So in this situation, although Simon is only my friend, I can say that my heart has broken for Simon because, yeah, he hasn't done as well as he wanted to. So, uh, to break someone's heart, to make someone very unhappy or sad. Let's move on. The next idiom is by heart. By heart has the meaning of from memory. Basically, when you can remember something so well that you don't need to look at words or pictures to help you remember something. Uh, for example, if you know a book by heart, you would be able to say every single word in that book without having to look at it to help you remember. So, by heart, let's have a look at some examples. Actors have to learn all their lines by heart. So yeah, if you're an actor and you're on stage or if you're in front of a camera, 
Of course, you don't want to be seen looking at your script or reading from the script all the time. You have to be able to remember every single word that you need to say when you're acting. So, actors need to learn all their words, all their lines by heart. They need to be able to say all the things that they need to say without having to look at something to help them remember. The next example is, I haven't heard that song for 20 years, but I still know every word by heart. So here, this is a song that I'm very familiar with. For whatever reason, I haven't heard it for a long time. But in the past, I used to listen to it so often and I know the song so well that even 20 years later, I still know every word to the song and I know how to sing along to it perfectly. I know every word by heart and I don't need anything else to help me remember. I can just remember all the words by myself. So by heart from memory. Being able to remember something without having to look at words or pictures to help you remember. The next idiom is have a heart. Have a heart. This basically means uh, when you tell someone or demand someone to show some consideration, feeling or pity. Okay, so someone might be acting a bit mean or a bit cruel. They might be acting a bit heartless, without a heart. So you're telling them to have a heart, to be a bit kinder and nicer to other people. So let's have a look at an example. You can't give all your students an F. Have a heart, please. So in this example, we have a very strict, a very strong teacher, and this teacher wants to fail all of their teacher, or all of their students. So I'm talking to this teacher, and I'm worried about the students. I think that this teacher is being very mean for giving everybody an F. So I'm asking the teacher to be nice, show some consideration, don't give everybody an F, be kind and, yeah, Give some students some better grades, please. All right, let's have a look at another example. Oh, come on, have a heart. I can't learn 5,000 words in one night. So in this situation, and I think it might be a situation that you are familiar with, trying to remember lots of English words or lots of words uh, in another language can be very difficult. Even learning 100 is very difficult for most people. So here, a teacher is asking someone to learn 5,000 words in just one night, which is almost impossible. The teacher, again, is not being very nice to the student, and the student is pleading, begging the teacher to be nicer, to show more consideration, and for the teacher to give less words for the student to learn. So yeah, to have a heart means when you tell someone or demand someone to be kinder, nicer, show more consideration or respect for someone else. The next idiom is, have a heart of gold. Have a heart of gold has the meaning of being very kind and generous. Yeah, so if you have a heart of gold, it means that you are a very, very, very nice person and you always try to help people whether you know those people or not. So let's have a look at an example. Bill always helps strangers in distress. He really has a heart of gold. So here, a stranger in distress means someone that you don't know but needs help in some kind of way. And Bill, because he's such a lovely, kind, wonderful person, wants to help that person even though he doesn't know who they are. Bill has a heart of gold, so he's going to try to help people 
no matter what the situation is. The next example, Sarah might seem to be grumpy all the time, but deep down she has a heart of gold. So here Sarah might seem like she's always in a bad mood, that she's always frustrated or annoyed by things, but actually she's a very kind, a very nice person. Again, just like Bill, she wants to help people, she tries to help people, even though sometimes she might look a bit annoyed or a bit grumpy. So have a heart of gold. Be very kind and generous. The next idiom, have one's heart in the right place. So have one's heart in the right place means to be a kind person of good intentions, even if there are bad results. <clears throat> so yeah, if your heart is in the right place, you want to do the right thing. You want to try to help people. You want to make other people happy. But sometimes, by accident, things go wrong and you upset that person even though you wanted to help them. You wanted to make them uh, happy. So yeah, have a heart of gold means you want to do something good, but something good doesn't always happen. Well, let's have a look at an example. Don't be angry with Richard. Yes, he got you the wrong present, but his heart was in the right place. So here in this example, Richard wanted to give someone a present. Uh, Richard probably tried very hard to think of what a really good present would be for this person, but he got it wrong. He made a mistake and he bought this person the wrong present. And this person was upset because this person didn't like the present. But again, Richard was not trying to be nasty. He was trying to be nice. He put a lot of work and effort into thinking about what present to buy, but Richard got it wrong. His heart was in the right place, meaning he tried to do the good, uh, tried to do a good thing, but unfortunately he failed because the other person was upset. Another example is, Murray might make a lot of rude jokes, but he has his heart in the right place. So here in this example, Murray is the kind of person who makes a lot of jokes that other people might not like or might disapprove of. But really all Murray wants to do is to make other people laugh. He wants to make every situation better and funnier and happier for everybody else. Unfortunately, his humour is not the same as everybody else's and people don't like it. So Murray makes a joke wanting everybody to be happy and have fun, but people think, ooh, Murray, yeah, he, he's a bit rude. So to have your heart in the right place means you want to do something good, but something bad might happen, usually by accident or for the wrong reason. Our next example then is have the heart to do something. Have the heart to do something. This usually means to be unkind enough to do something. So if you have the heart to do something, it means you are being very cruel or being mean to someone. We usually use have the heart in the negative. So if we use it in the negative, it means that we are faced with a situation where we can do something cruel, but we don't want to. We want to be kind, actually. Let's have a look at an, at an example. Maybe an example will help you understand a little bit better. I didn't have the heart to tell him that nobody liked his performance. He thought he did well. So in this situation, a friend of ours, they are an actor or a singer or a comedian and they're on stage and our friend thinks they did very well, but really and truly 
nobody liked his performance. So at the end of the performance, our friend comes up to us and says, how did I do? Did I do well? And, well, we could tell him the truth and say, no, you were terrible. Nobody liked you. But we don't want to do that because uh, it's very unkind. And we don't have the heart to be unkind. We want to be nice. So we're like, yeah, uh, no, you, you, you did very well even though it's not actually the truth. We want our friend to be happy. We don't want to upset them. We don't have the heart to be cruel. We don't have the heart to upset our friend. Another example. How could you have the heart to fire him the day after his father died? So here in this situation, a boss has been very cruel, very mean, to an employee. The employee's father died, so of course the employee is very sad, heartbroken in fact, and yeah, uh, of course naturally nobody is in a good mood after somebody has died. But here the boss doesn't care about the employee's uh, feelings and says, you're fired, you no longer work here, get out. So yeah, the boss is being very cruel. So I'm asking, how could you have the heart? How could you be so cruel, so mean to fire this person? His father died. You should not be cruel or mean to this person at the time. How can you have the heart to do that? Okay, so let's move on to our next example, our final idiom, in fact, uh, which is a heart-to-heart -heart talk. So a heart-to-heart -heart or a heart-to-heart -heart talk is a very frank, a very personal talk in confidence, usually between two friends. It's the kind of talk that can be very emotional, where lots of very important things are talked about, or sometimes secrets that might help another person understand you. Yeah, it's a very personal talk, a very private talk, but full of information that should only be shared between two other people and n not anyone else. An example would be, I need to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with my girlfriend about where our relationship is going. So in this example, I have a, a girlfriend, but I want to talk to her. I want to have a really good talk with her about where our relationship is going to be, what it is going to be like in the future. So again, here, this is a very personal thing. and There's going to be lots of important things that are talked about. Do we want to get married in the future? Do we want to break up for various reasons? Do we want to stay as we are? Uh, yeah, how can we make the relationship better? What things can I do to make myself a better person? Maybe what things my girlfriend could do to make herself a better person as well. So yeah, lots of very personal information. And again, lots of very important information. Another example would be, after I saw Jimmy crying, we had a heart-to-heart -heart talk about all of his problems. So here in this situation, Jimmy is very, very upset. So uh, I want to understand why he's upset. And in so doing, as I talk to him, I will learn lots and lots of uh, things about Jimmy. Uh, in particular about all of the kind of problems that made him upset in the first place. I can try and help him, give him advice, but maybe he just wants someone to talk to, uh, just someone who can understand him. So a heart-to-heart -heart talk is a very yeah, frank, uh, personal, important talk, usually between two people and nobody else. All right, so now we're moving on to the review. So I'm going to show each of you the uh, each of the idioms uh, one more time, and then I'll show you the meaning. So if you want to try and guess for yourself what each idiom means, 
feel free to pause the video. Let's get on with it. Uh, so yeah, can you remember the meaning of each of these? So our first idiom was after one's own heart. After one's own heart has the meaning of sharing similar tastes, values, interests, thinking or ideas. When two people like the same thing or have similar interests, yeah, we can say that one person is after the other person's own heart. The next idiom was at heart. At heart has the meaning of one's real nature, different to how they may normally appear. So they might seem like one person in public around lots of other people, but at home and in private, they can be a very different type of person. Uh, break someone's heart. Break someone's heart has the meaning of making someone very unhappy or sad. Usually we use this in a relationship when one person in a couple makes the other person uh, very sad because they've done something very nasty to that person. But we can use it for friends as well. If our friend has failed in some kind of way or <clears throat> yeah, we are unhappy for our friend. By heart. By heart, if you know this by heart, you'll know this means from memory. Being able to remember something easily without having to look at words or pictures to help you remember. Have a heart. Have a heart has the meaning of telling someone to show some consideration, feeling or pity. You want someone to be nicer, uh, to treat other people better in some kind of way. Have a heart of gold. <clears throat> Have a heart of gold means to be very kind and generous. Yeah, a person with a heart of gold is just a lovely, wonderful, nice person. Have one's heart in the right place. Have one's heart in the right place means to be a, a kind person of good intentions, even if there are bad results. So someone's, someone whose heart is in the right place means that they want to do well, uh, want to be nice to other people, but unfortunately something happens and the result is not as good as they wanted it to be. Have the heart to do something. Have the heart to do something means to be unkind enough to do something, usually used in the negative. So yeah, if we have the heart to do something, it means that we are able to be cruel or mean to other people. If we don't have the heart to do something, it means that we want to be nice or kind to other people. A heart to heart or a heart to heart talk. So a heart to heart talk means a frank personal talk in confidence, usually between two friends, etc. So yeah, a very powerful, strong conversation that can be very emotional or have lots of important things that you don't want other people to know about. And that's the end of this video. So please, the best way to learn these idioms or is to practice them. Try and write these idioms down in sentences. Uh, this will help you to remember. If you can use these idioms in ways that are relevant to you, if you can use these idioms about situations in your life, it's going to help you remember. So please write them down, practice them, or use them in conversation. If you don't have anyone to talk to, then please leave comments below this video uh, with sentences using these idioms about your own life. Is there someone who you've recently had a heart to heart talk with? Uh, are there any movies, any songs, any uh, shows that you know by heart? Uh, have you ever uh, had the heart to do something unkind? to someone else. Do you know someone with a heart of gold? If 
any of these things apply to you, tell me. Let me know in the comment section below. And please like and subscribe. I want this channel to grow, and so by liking, by subscribing, you are telling YouTube that this is a good video. But of course, you can tell others about me as well. If your friends watch this video, then when you use these idioms with your friends in conversation, they are going to know what these idioms mean as well, because they've watched this video. Anyway, we'll have another video looking at more idioms with hearts very soon. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.